What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Digibyte. Those are the four we're going to be looking at today. What I want to do is start with Bitcoin. And right now, guys, we're sitting at $9,159. We're down 0.27%. And one of the main things I wanted to point out today was the fact that now we have traded six days below this 50 moving average. We're getting much too comfortable below that moving average. What I would have liked to see yesterday was a nice strong bounce out of here and for us to get back up over top of that $9,700. That's what needs to happen. We need to start trading up above this 50 moving average again because right now it'll just act as overhead resistance until we turn that into support. And that's what's so important. Now, we did come, come down to an important support area here at 8,894. That area has been respected. But like I said, this bounce out of here, it did not come on much volume. And we did not get over the key areas. We could even save $9,500 and up around that $10,000. That's what needs to happen. And right now, guys, it's looking like this potentially could be distribution right up in here. Like we said, we're not 100% sure on that yet because this is number one, cryptocurrency and anything can happen. But number two, if we can get up above, if we zoom out here, this red trend line that has just been plaguing us since the high in 2017, this downtrend right here, if we could start having candle closes up above that, that's what could get us to new all-time highs. But right now we have all this overhead resistance that's just coming down on us. And now we're adding, we're going to be looking at today, the 30 EMA is coming down on top of us. The 50 moving average is coming down on top of us. We have a bit of a rounded top almost looking or a head and shoulders pattern. Depends, it's a little sloppy in there. But this range back and forth in here has been gnarly. And it's been for about a month and a half now. So we're looking to see if we can start getting out of this trend line because that would show that we would be having higher highs highs then we've been having lower highs for such a long time and right now what you see on our rsi we are still having lower highs and lower lows our rsi is at 45 right now momentum's just a little bit more flat moving sideways we are still holding our 200 moving average so that's a good thing but you know guys we don't want to get comfortable trading under something like the 50 moving average here in pink you can see throughout basically every uptrend we're up above it downtrends we're below it you can see over here this entire move, guys, take a look at the 50 here. Once we got up above the 50, we held it all the way to about $9,700. So when we got up above it, for the first time, we were at about $3,600, $3,700. So that's your move right there. You get in. When you're above that 50, you ride it as long as you possibly can. And then you get out once you start losing that 50 moving average. Could you miss some part of the move? Absolutely, but you're trying to get that big heart of it. That's what you're looking for. So that's why I'm concerned that we're still trading below this 50 moving average and we have not gotten back up above it. You know, our best hope is that a whale steps in out of nowhere here and we have one of those rocket ships up through this trend line and catches everybody by surprise because right now this is looking more like distribution. And that's what we have to be careful of. Okay, guys, so that's going to be Bitcoin here. And I also just want to show you the technical analysis on the trading view. It's 12, 9, and 7 you're seeing. We're having that sell signal on the one-day time frame. So that's kind of correlating with the, the technical analysis that I was doing as well. So, guys, if you get some from that, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then we will get into Ethereum. ETH's always so important to watch because it's just going to control all those altcoins. Still holding our support of $216, which is important. We're still holding right now. We're fighting. The candles are very small, so it's a massive fight between the bulls and the bears right now over this 50 moving average. So that's also showing the importance of it. So, guys, we need to hold that, and that's going to be at about 225 So I do want to see us continue to trade above 225 so we don't get trapped underneath that. But overall, for us to keep this trend moving, this trend right here that we've been in now, roughly for about three months, four months, we need this move to the upside, and we need to get over top of $252. It's critically important. RSI still having lower highs, lower lows right now. We're at 46, so we are a little bit below that neutral right now, so we need to pay attention to that. And you can also see the momentum's been down along with it, lower highs as well. And that's what needs to change, and the volume's been tailing off. We need more volume to get up over top of that 252. So this, again, for Ethereum, guys, sticky spot right now. This is a scary spot just overall in the market. Look how neutral this is. We have a 10 sell, 8 neutral, 10 buy. Dead nuts neutral right there. I mean, you can even see the oscillators, moving average, everything. This is a coin flip. 
it's going to be are the whales going to step in and push this market to the upside and are we going to start a massive bull run here that we've been waiting for for two and a half years or is this just another lower high and we're going to get plunged back down you know for bitcoin to six thousand dollars and we have to be aware of that because it can happen at any second now we have been moving sideways for a long time be prepared that's all i can say is be prepared guys because if it wants to start breaking to the downside it could get ugly fast we're talking 25 30 percent or more very quickly so you know this is where you need to be cautious when we're looking at these things that's that's all i'll say right there because this isn't financial advice i'm just showing you what i'm looking at in the charts and this is a time i believe you need to be more careful so for litecoin guys same thing 30 ema here in purple we're below that we're below the 50 we're below the 200 very tough here rsi lower highs lower lows we'll take a look at our technical analysis here we have a 17 sell nine neutral two buy moving averages strong sell just like we went over there with the moving averages how they're starting to curl and press down upon us this is when if litecoin's going to get moving the bulls need to get moving very quickly so we can start getting back up and trying to test this 200 moving average again and that's going to be at about 50 dollars. but right now guys we need to hold $39.17 is what I'm going to say for Litecoin. Very sticky spot for Litecoin. So be aware of that. And then we're going to get into Digibyte next. And guys, let me know what you're here to listen to. Litecoin, ETH, Digibyte. Help out with the algorithm down there. Just, you know, put a smiley face, thumbs up, anything. Appreciate it. Now I'll always try to do the best I can for you. So we'll go Digibyte. Now, guys, I'm just going to tell you the truth. I mean, that's what it is. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing on the charts. And right now, this is a very tough spot to say, hey, I want to go long and invest everything into cryptocurrency. Truly, it would be a coin flip. And right now, it's even showing more signs to the downside. So just be careful. And then Digibyte, we're still in this symmetrical triangle. We're waiting to see. Remember, symmetrical triangles, neutral patterns, right? We're still holding our higher lows, lower highs coming in, waiting to see if we can get a trend line break up through here, see if we can get over top of first 0 0.02392, and then it'd be probably up around this 0 0.02775 is what I'd be looking at. We need continued volume to come in, a lot of volume to really get us up over top of this symmetrical triangle here and start having candle closes above it but it's still going to rely on ethereum we need to pay attention to ethereum and what it's going to do because it won't matter what bit or digibytes doing if the market the whole market as a whole is going to crash or you know have a 20 30 percent sell-off not saying it is guys i'm just saying if that does happen you know it's going to pull everything down with it we know how this game goes now but you know overall just looking at digibyte itself it's up above the 30 moving average it's up above the 50 it's up above the 200 you know this is looking decent here our rsi though a little bit weaker you can see once we were up in this area and we set our high our rsi got roughly up to about 90 and now you can see we're pretty close to that height of the high and you can see where our RSI is at, it's at 54, so we have lost some strength there, and you have to pay attention to those type of things that can always help you out. And then for Digibyte on TradingView, overall showing a strong buy. It has zero sell, nine neutral, 19 buy. So all the moving averages are looking great, like we just talked about up above them. Now the oscillators run a little bit more neutral here. Our relative strengths neutral. We were just talking about that. Um, our stocks neutral, commodities neutral. Momentum, we have a buy. Awesome Oscillator, a buy. And the MACD is a buy. And then Bull Bear Power, more neutral. So Digibyte, like I said, is is looking decent, guys. It could have a whole nother pump up here. If Bitcoin wants to get moving, I bet you Digibyte will get moving hard to the upside. But it's just waiting on Bitcoin. That's the number one thing I can say is, you know, be, be patient. And it's all about Bitcoin. So that's what I wanted to leave you with today, guys. God bless you all. Take care. Leave that thumbs up down there. You get something from this.